If you've ever wondered what goes on through an artist's mind as the brush hits the canvas, Lisa Beth Kovitz decided to find out for herself and gives us an inside look. What's inside an artist? Where does that desire to create come from? Painter Hans Brook invited us to his studio to give us just a little glimpse of what goes on when a person creates. You start painting uh, out a sort of sense of wonder. You know, you have a piece of paper or a canvas and then you put some paint on it with a certain color and then uh, something very magical happens. You know, it's, uh, it might be totally abstract or it might have some sort of a figure in it, but um, it's just uh, an adventure. The way you look when you paint, you're, you're, you're so concentrated, you're so focused on it. What is that feeling inside? Well, it's, uh, you have to judge uh, what you just did. And sometimes you're just uh, right and sometimes you're just a little bit off. And you have to kind of adjust uh, early on because before you know it's, it's becoming a big mess. <laughs> what are you thinking as the brush hits the canvas? At that moment, I just don't think anything, I guess. All the thinking has happened before or is going to start again afterwards. But the moment you apply paint, it's, uh, it's not really a rational process. It's more like it has to feel right. It has to feel like you're doing something that's going somewhere. But the actual moment that you hit the canvas with a brush, I don't think uh, anything. I think it's more like a certain kind of feeling. I'm very inspired by film and uh, that's what I've been working with for the, for the last uh, two decades, I think. So these are all kind of paintings um, of people going through, uh, having gone through a crisis. So they're kind of uh, in a state of shock for a moment. And they're all kind of moments from uh, film history. I like the, the quality of paint that it can create an image that is very almost photographic. But I also like the paint to be just paint and just like um, uh, behave like just ordinary paint or material in that sense. It's a combination of two opposites almost, yeah. yeah. And that's what I, uh, I think makes it very powerful and uh, takes it away from the uh, photographic that might be in my work because a painting is something entirely different than, uh, than a photograph. It's a very slow form of communication because it might take decades or centuries before it reaches somebody, maybe. But uh, I think it could also work more immediately. But it's a very slow uh, medium. It takes a while to take it in. You know, you have something at face value right away. You see it right away what it is. But in order to really um, open up, you, you need more time to, uh, to see it and to come back see it again. When did you come to America? In 1995. Why? Why? Uh, my ex-girlfriend lived in Los Angeles. She was at CalArts and um, I went to visit her for 10 days and I stayed for 10 years. LA is a very young and new city and uh, gave a beautiful new sort of um, yeah, experience of what it is to live in a city. How does the light in Los Angeles compare to the light in New York? Uh, I, th I remember the light in LA to be uh, a bit softer because I think it was more yellowish and warmer in a way. And the, the light in New York is very cold, I think, kind of bluish. Yeah. And it can be very harsh. Brooke's success in that bright New York City light has resonated back in Holland. With a new king in the Netherlands, the Mondrian Fund was assigned the task of commissioning the first royal portrait. They had four scouts looking for uh, people that could do uh, the royal portrait. So I was one of the 12 left after uh, hundreds of people were dropped out of the race. And then from these 12, three would get commissioned. It was a fun thing to do and it was really nice to see what other people came up with. And this portrait is hanging... Yeah, it's in the Rijksmuseum in, uh, in Amsterdam. So it's uh, in a good spot, yeah. Lots of people seeing it. So it was, a, it was a special experience. I enjoyed it. From Greenpoint, Brooklyn, this has been Lisa Beth Kovitz for Arts in the City.